I joined Twitter in 2008 because people were going on and on about it to me. But I think, I mean, I talk about this in the book, I think there's a very definite way that people join Twitter. I think you go and you're really annoyed that everyone's going on about it. So in the end, you go and you have a look and you join and you open your account and then it's just a bit too difficult and you put your first tweets up and then no one replies and then you storm off into cyberspace in a huff. And then you, then you kind of sulk for a bit and then eventually you come back and then I think there's a very definite tipping point between not getting it and, and being angry about it and then once the penny drops I think that's when I think that's when you can never leave you're suddenly like monitoring the universe in real time and it's like this immense feeling of power like you've done all these amazing things you've not been out of the house <laughs> you know <laughs> this is it you're like you've not got dressed like I'm married to a guy called John <laughs> I think that John is, um, I spend a lot of time on Twitter and I think that when, or, or on social networks, I think that when I'm happy and it's bringing joy to my life, he's dead happy about it. And he's like, you know, if that's making me happy, as long as I'm not a total dick about it, you know what I mean? It's like, he's happy with that. But what he says is, you know, it's like on those days where you're not rolling with the punches, where someone said something horrible to you, um, or insulted you, or dragged you into a fight, or implicated you in something, and and you, your defences aren't there. Then it, you know it's him that's picking up the pieces. It's like sometimes it's like talk, you know because he does talk to me like a child and go, why don't we just pull the Wi-Fi out the wall for like till tomorrow morning, say? Do you know what I mean? Doesn't happen, though, does it? No, well, we do. I mean, I talk about this at the end of the book. You pull it out the wall, and then um, the first hour, I think your brain's in spasm. Because you're kind of going, oh, what's the point in having a thought if I can't? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that. It's like, what's that? <laughs> when I kind of went onto Twitter, I felt as if, like, suddenly it was like just all these women and we we're just all talking about, you know, about current affairs and about the, you know, the Daily Mail sidebar of shame. That gets a lot of talking about <laughs> every day. Every day we talk about that. And, um, you know, and then, and then what happened right away was that like literally every TV company in the land <laughs> went, oh, Grace Dent, could you come down and have like a drink with us? And we'd like, and what they go, what we'd like to do is we'd like to harness Twitter and put it on a TV show. And right. they, all, every, they all said that. And I was kind of thinking, how are you going to do that then? Because like the women that go on are just normal looking women. And although it's OK to have like six men in a row on BBC One that look like fucking potatoes, right? <laughs> It's just something we're afflicted with. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> potatoes in jumpers. And you're like, and that's okay. But like before you're a woman and you get onto anything like that, you've got to jump through so many hoops of like, you know, you, it's like they're not going <sighs> Did you see what I mean? No, no, no. A girl the other day went, um, you fucking ramble on and on and on and talk shit, make your husband a proper meal cunt. <laughs> and all in 140 characters. It was like that. It was about that. So that's the message that comes to me. So I looked at it and I just kind of like, I, sent, I just went back and went, hmm, well, you are, you're 18, so I'll forgive you for that. Like that. And then she came back and she went, oh, I'm 19, actually. And I said, <laughs> I went, oh, oh, I thought you were the same age as me. Just from a photo, right? I went looking at your photo, I thought you were the same age as me. And that, I thought, oh, that'll go. And then, um, and then she went, um, she said something like, what, because I'm in a pub? And I said, no, because you need a better under eye cream. <laughs> and I just like, but this is it, then you send it. And then she can see her going to her friends, ah, like that, and then you just feel terrible. It's like suddenly you feel terrible and suddenly you know that that person will retweet it everywhere and then they'll delete what they've said and then they'll go, and they'll go, oh, Grace Dennett is just shouting horrible stuff at, like, a teenager for nothing. But you, like, you think, that really wounded me, that, like, make, you know, make a fucking proper meal for your husband cunt. You know, like, I'm only, it's like, it's like nine o'clock in the morning and I'm just, like, eating bran flakes in front of my computer. You know, it's like, it's like do you see what I'm saying? You can so, yeah. make a proper meal for yourself. <laughs> mind, it was because I'd said in the weekend that, um, that often the internet will take over my whole life and then like you know when my husband gets back you know you kind of open the fridge and go oh, we've got spinach <laughs> do you know what I mean you haven't like and yeah but then you get a lot of you get a lot of younger girls now that are really angry about the idea of feminism
Uh, not angry, pro-feminism, anti-feminism. Thanks again. I'm Paul McInnes, and this is Grace Dent. Yeah.